it is one of the world's oldest crops. It's an important source of food across the globe and a vital raw ingredient for key industries, including the multi-billion pound brewing and distilling sectors. If we can produce barley which is more productive, more resistant to pests and diseases, more resilient to climate change, then we can help the world to feed itself, we can help farmers become more sustainable, we can help industry to grow and to create jobs. Barley as a crop in itself is worth about £600 million to the UK economy, but the real value of barley is as a core ingredient of other sectors, such as malting, brewing, whisky, the wider food sector, and that accounts for over £6 billion to the UK economy, so the potential is huge. Barley's long history and suitability to the climate has given the crop a singular importance to Scotland. The James Hutton Institute is the UK's only centre of expertise dedicated to barley research. Scientists here, using traditional methods of breeding, have increased barley yields every year for the last quarter of a century. The hub will really allow us to advance our science way beyond where it is at the moment. In collaboration with industry, we'll, I think we can generate new varieties that will deal with pest and disease resistance, use fertiliser better, really get a handle on climate change and allow barley to grow it, and allow barley to be a real underpinning factor to the UK economy. Hardier strains of barley would allow farmers to increase their overall productive acreage, making use of more marginal land and better quality strains would mean less lower value barley going for animal feed. And with EU limitations on the use of agrochemicals looming, better pest resistance would be worth millions to farmers. Well, I think we've got to be smarter going forward. We've got to grow more from less, and part of that is pesticides and herbicides. So to have that research centre on our doorstep, knowing that what we want, knowing what the consumers want, uh, is, uh, is really important. I think it's vital to the farming industry. I think we have an opportunity here to actually stamp a mark and, and, and show future generations that barley matters for Scotland. The International Barley Hub will be a place where industry will shape the direction of scientific research. Dedicated business teams will liaise with industry, generating new projects, processes and products. It will provide skills training, doubling the number of collaborations with industry and doubling the level of research income into Bali within five years. The hub will have access to the Hutton's extensive resources for field trials and growing systems. And a unique collaboration with the University of Dundee will bring further benefits. It means that the research tools and facilities and the academic expertise of a world leading university will be available to the people who can benefit most from it. But more than that, being based on one site brings a real partnership approach to finding solutions. So having industry and innovators nearby it means that theoretical research can be translated into practical applications much more quickly than it is at the moment. I think the main thing is it will give us critical mass. It will allow us to do um, what we would consider to be excellent science. And I think if we can do excellent science better than we're currently doing with more critical mass, we'll make better, better uh, advances and quicker. That will help the Scotch whisky industry, which generates £4.5 billion a year for the UK economy and is the second largest contributor to trade performance. Brewing, supporting 100,000 jobs directly and a further 700,000 indirectly, will also benefit. Well, across the globe, we can see a great demand for good quality malting barley, but local conditions often create great volatility in the supply chain. We would see as end users of barley the creation of a barley research hub enabling the supply chain to come together in partnership to iron out this volatility. Crucial to that supply chain are the maltsters. Malting prepares the barley grain for its end use, encouraging partial germination before storage. UK maltsters process around 2 million tonnes of barley every year for brewers, distillers and the food industry. Having this hub and having this partnership and collaboration is very beneficial for us, uh, not only 
from a customer's point of view of meeting their exact specifications, also being able to take it back to our raw material suppliers and telling them what we need and what we require and creating a genuine partnership and collaboration going forward. Bringing together barley expertise in one hub will also provide major benefits to small and medium businesses. Cellucomp is an award-winning Scottish company producing a variety of products from the waste of the agri-food industry. For SMEs, not just us, but I think all SMEs, having a single point of access to world-class researchers, facilities, uh, and the ability to have collaborations throughout the whole value chain from growers right through to post-production, uh, I think is vital uh, for us to improve the uh, innovation, productivity, and eventually increase the return on investment. Industry support for the International Bali Hub project's been matched by other major Bali research centres around the world. Creating an international barley hub will require some public investment, but the crop's importance to the UK and Scotland has never been greater. The initial investment's going to make quite a substantial return to, to the economy. Um, we estimate that for the £36 million initial investment, there's going to be over £700 million return within 12 years, um, and that may well be an underestimate of the, of the impact. Um, so it, compared to other infrastructure projects, the return is massive. Establishing a world centre of excellence into the science of Bali will safeguard and enhance the quality, uniqueness and value of our most important income generating industries and allow them to flourish in the face of increasing competition for their key raw material. It will build on the UK and Scotland's established reputation for excellence in science and the knowledge economy. And it will underpin the viability of our farming sector in the face of future climate change and help deliver global food security.